we're actually taking a walk up in the woods, checking out all the snow. Quite a bit of it. He doesn't know what to think about all of it. Anyway, we've got some angle iron that we're going to put on the center beam, which is up top. I've got six pieces to put on, and a couple of those center posts. I'm going to put some all thread through those. And then all of that angle iron will be done on the joints except for purlins, but I'm not going to do the purlins because... They're actually tied in with all of the roof rafters, so they should be good. Once I get that done, then I'm going to finish uh, the studs around the windows and the ones that I actually left out when I was building the uh, exterior walls, get that all finished. I have the radiant barrier ordered uh, as the house wrap to go around. So when that gets in, I'm going to purchase some um, store-bought 2x6s. The reason I say that is because most everything that I have up here is sort of green, and it will shrink a little bit. I don't want any shrinkage because when I, up underneath the eave, when I put the plywood under there um, against the house, I'm going to put kind of like a face board, and my siding is going to actually butt up against that. So... I don't want it shrinking, causing a gap. Because uh, the green lumber doesn't shrink lengthwise, it shrinks in diameter. So once I get that uh, jammed up against it, um, it should be good. And I'm thinking that it may be long enough to go all the way down um, past or close to the bottom of my uh, 7 by 10 floor joist uh, beam, actually, uh, on the bottom. So if it does, that's going to be good. Uh, because I won't have to put one on the bottom. Anyway, I'm going to go in here where the fire's at, check on it, and then we'll get started.
Well guys, we're taking a break here, eating a bite. Um, so that we can get back to work. Everything was frozen. I had unthought first before I actually cooked. No. No. I fixed your food over there. going to be a bear you might as well be a grizzly and so I was a grizzly today but anyway look at Smokey's little sweater that I got him for Christmas um it might not be what he needs but to me he's just a baby puppy and it I mean it's thin but at least when he's sleeping and it's out here and it's cold he'll be just a tad bit warmer because he won't always be able to wear stuff like this but to me he's just a little baby, baby puppy yes he was he a little devil devil child he was a devil child. Yes, he was. Look at him. Are you? Ow. He's a baby. Well, y'all, I'm going to leave Patrick and Dad to finishing the gables and the windows. And I'm going to head out of here with little Landon. And we'll be back um, again tomorrow. So stay tuned and be safe.
What is it? Hmm? What is it? What is it? <laughs> Good boy. Good boy. Let go. I'll throw it again. Let go. I'll throw it again. Let go. Let go. Let go. You gonna get it? Here. Ready? Look. Ready? Go get it. Get one in the top. Listen, y'all, before we go today, um, I have a joke to tell. Do not judge. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What? Why do fish always sing out of tune? I don't know. Because you can't tune a fish. <laughs> <laughs> what is it with him? I've got one better. What do you get when you pick a pig's nose? Hamburgers. I know, I know. It's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh me, Lord. So y'all, the snow's melting. It's still cold. Yeah. And we've made a day of it. This is gonna be a, uh, like I said before. There's gonna be a whole lot of cleanup because a lot of these trees will never straighten up. We, my son, Jennifer. Uh, Patrick, see, he's sitting right here. Patrick's son, the son Patrick. Yeah. Um, he just we, can't see him. We appreciate, you know, all of your support, uh, especially this past year in the year 2020. And we look forward to uh, many more videos to come. And um, we, we hope that you'll join us. Yeah. Gotcha. Beat you. <clears throat> Beat him. Anyway, uh, we hope that everyone has a great afternoon. Take care. We look forward to seeing you back up here at the Outpost again next time. Be safe.